Hey, Charlie here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create invoices for your unbilled time and expenses in Paydirt. Let's get started. Invoices can be annoying and take up valuable time. So Paydirt does most of the work for me by taking all of my billable time and expenses and turning them into an invoice basically automatically. It's super fast, super easy, and I've got complete control. Here in my client screen, you can see that we've got a lot of unbilled time for one of these clients. Let's go ahead and fire up an invoice for them now. I'll select the client that I'm working on and then see the current project and all of the tasks within it. Up near the title here, I'll click Draft an Invoice to start making an invoice to send to the client for this specific project. Now right away, Paydirt collects all of my unbilled working time and expenses for this client and sets up an itemized invoice for me to preview complete with dates, descriptions, and of course, the correct quantities and rates for my unbilled time and expenses. Now by default, everything for the client that's unbilled is included. But on the right here is a list of all of the unbilled items available. And if I want to hold off on billing for a certain task or expense, I can click on it to deselect it. And the preview updates in real time. So as I make my changes, I can always see exactly what my invoice is going to look like. By clicking Show Options in the upper left hand corner here, I can change the settings for how this invoice is generated. These allow me to customize the way my time and expenses are converted into line items, how time is rounded, and what information is included in the descriptions. I'll go ahead and explain those more in a later video, but for now, my invoice is looking pretty good. When I'm ready, I'll click Draft This Invoice. With that, the invoice is created as a draft, and the work and expenses that were included in it are now marked as Build. I can now freely edit it as needed. I can add a logo for my company if I haven't already, change the invoice number, the due dates, the description area, and even the descriptions and values for each of the line items. Basically, I have total control. I can even change the order of the items in the list by dragging them around. Now my invoice is how I want it. I'll go ahead and save the changes. Now notice that my invoice is still a draft, and it will remain as a draft until it is sent to the client. While it's a draft, I can freely make any changes I want. But it looks pretty good to me, so I'm going to go ahead and send it by email by clicking this big button right here. The email is composed automatically using a template that I can customize in my account settings. I can add to it or change it completely before sending if I want to. The email will contain the invoice attached as a PDF, as well as a link to an online version of the invoice that my client can visit to make a payment. Also, I'll be BCC'd on this email, so I have a copy in my own inbox as well. Great. Now the invoice is sent. Once an invoice is sent, it's eligible to receive payments. Let's open the email and take a look. Brilliant! My clients received the invoice as a PDF attachment and can follow this link to pay it securely online. We'll touch more on how online payments work in a later video. And that's pretty much how you create and send an invoice in just a couple of minutes with Paydirt. A super fast process that's pretty much automatic from start to finish. In the next video, we're going to look at logging payments, getting paid online, and what happens when invoices fall overdue.